uh, now I want to introduce how to use the app to operate the alarm system. First, add the user's input the username. and input panel as card number then click OK and enter the user uh, first pray the away arm directly and the form will send a message to the uh, alarm system alarm panel and the alarm panel will arm and uh, you will get a message to inform you that you the OAM is successfully. The same, press the home arm and the panel will, will operate home arm and next uh, this arm. Uh, next is monitoring. When you press the monitoring, uh, the, f the form, the alarm panel will make a form to your f to your form, and pick up the form. Uh, you can monitor it on site. This is open siren and the close cross siren. Uh, this is time calibration. Uh, press the time calibration. Uh, you will get a message to tell you uh, the time of the alarm panel. And next is system query. System query is to tell you the alarm pan the status of the alarm panel. Guard message to the status and next is language. There is 10 language for you to choose what you need. And next is program and call form. There is three program form numbers and one call form numbers. Uh, the program form number is for you, you to uh, operate a lamp panel. Input the form number and click OK. And now you can use the form number to operate the alarm panel. Next is alarm form. There is H alarm form. Uh, when there is alarm, uh, the, uh, the alarm panel will call the alarm form number what you set and uh, this is alarm form type there is form alarm type SMS dial, SMS and dial and the contact ID next is inform report uh, you can set the arm this arm uh, inform report and uh, the system inform report and uh, this is CID account. Next is zone type. And there is eight zone types for you to choose. And uh, there is uh, 16 zones for you can edit. Next is zone name. The same as the zone type. And this is home arm list. The home arm list is for home arm. You can choose which zone is is for home arm. And next is delay time and the dial times. Uh, you can set the alarm delay and uh, arm delay and alarm delay. And the dial times is for uh, when there is alarm, it will call you and the list if. Uh, if one alarm form number form can't uh, pick up the form, it, it will die five times. And next is siren volume and output output duration. 
you can choose what you need. Uh, next is wireless siren. Uh, this is the switch for wireless siren. And uh, uh, at the back of our siren, there is a siren code. Just input the siren code. And uh, you will ignore the siren with alarm, the alarm panel. Next is arm disarm timer. Uh, there is one week for arm disarm timer. You can just set what you need. Next is test timer. Uh, you can choose in uh, uh, every month which day and uh, what's the time for test the whether the alarm panel is no is work normally. Uh, next is history car. You can choose uh which month, which day you want to uh, query the history of the alarm event. Next is RFID card set. This is the inform form number of the RFID card and uh, this is the uh, RFID card notice SMS. Uh, you can edit it just like, like uh, if the card one is on the charge's hand and you can set charge back Charging spec. Next is open close door set. This is for the for the door sensor. That's all. Thank you.